Welcome into 49ers Post Game Live, brought to you by Toyota. The Niners with a tough one at Levi's Stadium tonight. Their Thursday night football success ends this evening with a big loss to the Green Bay Packers, 34-17, the final from Santa Clara. We welcome you into the NBC Sports Studios. Laura Britt alongside Dante Whitner, Jeff Garcia, and Takeo Spikes joining us here to break down all the action that we saw on the field. And guys, when you think about this season and how it's gone, it's been everything's just been about injuries. 2020 has been a season of injuries for the 49ers. And then this week you pile on the positive COVID tests. It's hard to imagine a, a worse scenario for the 49ers. They do have to move on throughout the rest of this season. Luckily, they have the Saints next week, but then they have the bye, Jeff. Games are difficult enough when you're fully healthy. It's a competitive league. There's a lot of balance throughout the National Football League. Now you're down five starters. You're down to your fourth, fifth, sixth running backs, sixth receivers, guys that haven't even sniffed the field all season long. And we're talking midway through the season when teams are really starting to hit their stride. We knew it would be an uphill battle today, especially on the offensive side. And, uh, and they proved us right. It just was too much, too many inconsistencies, too many challenges to overcome not having the playmakers on the field. I'm a stand-up guy, and I have to admit that before the game, I said that they had opportunity to make the playoffs and beat a couple teams that they had on the schedule. I take that back. From seeing the game today, I don't know what they're going to do moving forward. This looked like a totally different football team from what we are accustomed to seeing, and they have to figure something out. Yes, they'll get Trent Williams back. Yes, they'll get a couple guys back like Kendrick Bourne, but I don't really see them as being different makers. They're really in trouble right now. And also, Dante, you know, you say they look like a total, it's a totally different football team. Technically, it is. And you have to wonder what, what's the, menti, the, the mental psyche of this football team going through so many transitions, going through so many phases, the COVID test, guys being hurt, then guys being placed on COVID reserve just because of contact tracing. And now they go out and, and put up a performance like this. It makes it that much worse. And now going forward, I really wonder, hey, we were, th we were talking about early in the show, do they have the ability to fight for a wild card spot? That's not going to happen. If anything, the development of certain guys who are now getting the opportunity to play, I think that's going to be the, be the biggest piece, especially knowing Jimmy G won't be back for several weeks now. Yeah, and potentially the rest of the season we'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, there's plenty to break down from this game, and we're going to get to all of that. But right now we want to get you out to Levi's Stadium as we welcome in our 49ers insider, Matt Miyoko. And, Matt, I know you've been listening in. There are plenty of negatives. There's a lot to take away from this game and with all the injuries and the COVID that we've been talking about. Uh, you're a glass half full kind of guy. Can you give us something positive to take away from tonight? I, I can, Laura. Well, oh, probably only one thing. A couple of guys on defense. Fred Warner flies around. What a great player he is. But the one thing that kind of stood out to me was that we've been talking about this for a couple of years. The 49ers offense needs another wide receiver. Last year, it was Debo Samuel and Emmanuel Sanders, and those guys had to play a lot. This year, when everybody's healthy, it's Debo Samuel's Samuel and Brandon Ayuk, and then Kendrick Bourne kind of mixes in there. But you can't just get by with three wide receivers. You need more than that. And I think Richie James proved that he can be a really good fourth receiver. This is a guy that had six catches for 165 yards all of last season. Tonight, when he was featured, when he got his hands on the ball, when the quarterback was throwing his way, he came up with nine catches, 184 yards, and one touchdown. So this is something that they can build on to make those guys in front of him better because they don't have to play all those snaps. So you're looking for a silver lining. It's not much, but that's what I have for you. I knew I could count on you, Mayoko. I can always count on you for that. Uh, back to the <laughs> negative things, though, because that's where I'm going to go. Uh, Jaquaski Tart, we saw him exit the game and was not able to return. K1 Williams also suffering an injury in this game. You, when, you, when you think the injuries can't keep coming they seem to keep coming. For the defense, how do you move forward when you're already so limited? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're talking about two guys in the defensive backfield. Both, both have missed time already this year, so the 49ers no strangers to trying to find fill-ins for them. 
And so Kaywon Williams is a very important part of this team. He goes out with an ankle injury. You have Joukowsky Targ go out with a foot injury. And it's always a bad sign when a team rules a player out during the course of a game. So we'll find out in a little bit from Kyle Shanahan about any x-rays or any kind of uh, evaluation that they did on his foot. One thing to keep in mind, too, is that you saw how Aaron Rodgers and the Packers attacked this. As soon as they saw Jaquaski Tart out of the game, what do they do? They go deep over the top where Marcel Harris is filling in, and they get a touchdown. So the Packers really were able to exploit all the 49ers' weaknesses, and believe me, they had a lot of weaknesses to exploit. So it was just kind of pick your poison. Yeah, and, and most likely the Saints and other teams the remainder of the season will look to do the same. Matt Mayoko, our 49ers insider from Levi's Stadium, 